Welcome to our video showing how a signal generator and vibration generator can create a standing wave. For this experiment you'll need a power signal generator, today we're using our Unilab model, a vibration generator by Philip Harris, 4mm electrical leads, slotted masses, string or elastic cord, a table pulley clamp and a 30cm ruler. Set up the experiment as follows. First mount the table pulley to the edge of a table in line with the vibration generator. Secure the string to the armature of the vibration generator with the armature screw. Extend the string so that it goes over the pulley and attach the hanging masses to the string to add tension. Using the 4mm leads, connect the vibration generator to the power signal generator using the low impedance sockets on the power signal generator. Turn on the power signal generator allowing a few seconds for it to power up. Set the power signal generator to sine wave by pressing the select button. Adjust the frequency selector to 10 to 110 Hz and adjust the large frequency dial until you see a standing wave appear. For the experiment setup we are using, it will be around 30 Hz. You may need to adjust the amplitude to see a clear wave pattern. Now double the frequency to see two standing waves. Then adjust the frequency again until you can see three clear standing waves. This should be around three times the frequency of the single wave. Each of the three waves is half a wavelength. So, if we measure one of the waves and multiply by two, this will give us one full wavelength. Then, using the equation wave speed equals frequency times wavelength, you can calculate the wave speed. Then repeat these steps for different frequencies. We hope you found this practical advice useful. For expert technical support, contact the Philip Harris technical team on techsupport at philipharris.co.uk or visit our blog at philipharris.co.uk forward slash blog.